Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. We're going to be doing a tournament in the first little bit of this episode and then we're going to be joining as a vassal with the Southern Empire. A whole bunch of people have uh, said that that's, that's probably what, what, what is going to be pretty fun and I think I agree on that. I definitely agree on that because what I've generally been thinking of anyway is um, literally just doing that and then uh, trying to make the Southern Empire into a really, really powerful faction. Obviously, it is very difficult for me to do that as it is, because, of course, I don't have a huge amount of power under my command. But what I can attempt to do is I can attempt to make a good go of it by, by uh, finding my very own castle, trying to get my garrison up and running, and just generally have a really, really good time with that and just see if I can maybe fight back against the Crusade if they are still at war against the Southern Empire. They might not even be enemies anymore. So it might not even be necessary, but as you can see here, I am doing so much damage with my spear. It's actually kind of hilarious how much damage we're actually able to do. Is this... Uh, oh, this is a couchable. This is a couchable lance. Oh, very nice. Okay, well, I have no... Um, no riding skill to, oh well, to speak of, so it is going to be almost impossible for me to get the speed in a uh, short space of time. I might be able to get the speed this time. Let's see if we can speed up. There we go. Okay, couch. Let's do it. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, that's the thing. I was a bit worried about this because he is more than likely going to be able to kill me with a manual attack. As you can see, his manual attacks are deadly. And especially considering these guys are both vassals. They're going to be very difficult to deal with, unfortunately. Oh, oh no, no, never mind, never mind. Okay, wow, we actually, uh, we actually took them down. Now, obviously, some of them are going to get through. Nifon, Nifon got through, which is not great. Uh, okay, well, hopefully, we're going to be able to eliminate him in this. Okay, that was easy enough. Normand, Normand, very nice indeed, Normand. He's alive. Very good. Ow. Are you serious, Norman? What? <laughs> now I'm really surprised. I am really surprised that he's actually doing so much damage to us right here. I guess it's his new gear, you know? We've given him some pretty decent gear in comparison to what he used to wear. And uh, he's turned into quite a beast himself. Not as beastly as Barney the Second, of course, because, well, we kind of stole our armor from our wife. But let's not mention that. Shh, shh, shh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so we're up against Norman once again. I assume we're going to be up against Nifon in the final round, which is obviously not going to be the most fantastic thing ever. But, you know, can't really do anything about it, so we're just going to have to try our best. And after this, I'm going to be attempting to find Regea. And we'll hopefully be able to become a vassal. And she'll probably give me a village, maybe. She might not even give me a village at this point. Not entirely sure. But if, if she doesn't, then, you know, that's just how it's going to have to be. But I personally feel like being loyal to the Southern Empire is probably going to be quite fun to do anyway. Even if they end up being eliminated, then that's just how it's going to have to be. You can't really do much about it in, you know, some 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 ways because I'm just one person you know I'm just literally one army and unless I have a massive amount of influence and things all over the place it's highly unlikely I'm going to be able to affect a massive war against the Crusade or something like that so anyway there you go nice little victory for us right there and it actually turns out that Regea is at the uh, oh wow Regea wants Masui captured. Wow, that could be a really, really fun task for us to take on, considering um, Masui might might be, uh, she might be running around with about 80 or so units at this point in the game, so it might make sense. But I'm actually going to ask her to enter as a vassal. I would pledge allegiance to you and be counted among your loyal followers. Here we go. All right, here we go. There we are. Nice. So we have now joined the Southern Empire. And I I don't know whether... Uh, have they have they given me anything? Uh, yeah, I actually do want to do this, this task. 5,000. Hold on to that horse then. I will bring her alive. 
All right, so we're going to try and capture Misui. This is going to be our mission for this episode. And uh, we will see how well we do. Now, I have 80 or so food supplies. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know whether that will be enough. Will it be enough? Not entirely sure, but I'm just going to sell the Imperial Lance that we gained here previously. I'm going to sell these arrows. Um, I think these Lordly Mittens could be quite good for someone. So... There we are. Norman can get a bit of an upgrade right there. Ah, yes. Iona can definitely use an upgrade, and he's using the same things. Oh, look at that. He could definitely use an upgrade there. Oh, nice. Ah, uh -huh. good, good. We've got some better stuff for him, too. Very good to see that, and I believe that is it. So we can just sell all of that as well. All right. So let's buy a little bit of food all over the place. Let's just buy all kinds of different food. And there we go. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, well, now obviously because we are a vassal, I don't think we have been given anything. Um, let me actually just have a look. I don't think I have been given any, no, I haven't been given any fiefs, as you can see quite clearly, no fiefs whatsoever. So what we are now going to be doing is fighting against the Kuzate, and Misui is going to be our first target. So... I'm going to first off try and go to some of these villages, try and get some Imperial recruits. And, oh. Uh, oh, she's actually creating an army right now. Hmm, do I want to join the army? I probably don't want to at this point. I mean, maybe? Maybe it would actually make sense. It might actually make sense for us to do that, but uh, not entirely sure how effective that's really going to be for me right now. Because as we have seen in the past, the uh, AI lords that g generally tend to make armies are very, <laughs> let's just say, they're not particularly smart about their decision making most of the time. So it is kind of hard to uh, get things like that working and not actually putting us into a situation where we're going to be well, captured and, uh, you know, losing all of our army, basically. Oh, there's a Vipon. How's, how's he doing? Okay, have a, have a look here. He has 30 Imperial recruits and 14 infantrymen. How, I mean, how many units do I have? Do I have good units in comparison to that? Let's have a look. Well, I've got Tier 2. I've got some Tier 3, some Tier 4. Oh, actually, Tier 5 as well. Wow. Okay, uh, do you, th do you think we can do it? Do you think we can fight this guy? I mean, that's the thing. If I do end up fighting this guy, he is going to probably, oh, he's using Imperial units as well. That's actually hilarious. You know what? I'm not entirely convinced that I'll be able to defeat him because he does have the numbers advantage. And if I had numbers against him, then I might decide to go for it. I don't know. I mean... That's the thing. I'm kind of interested to see whether I can do something against him. Um, but on the uh, on the other hand, I'm still kind of like, oh, yeah, mm, no, you know, probably not. Probably not. So I'm going to just leave him alone for the moment and we'll go in, in you know, we'll go and search for Misui. And uh, we do have someone else there from the hidden hand and everything. And uh, let me see if I can. Hmm. Do I want to? No, I don't really want to create a party. Uh, as you can see. Our Ironmonger at Lycaron is doing really badly. Oh, yes. It's doing really, really badly. Technically, I could sell it. And, I, and as you can see, I could actually sell it for 12000 So it would be pretty advantageous for us to do that. Oh, look at this. Only 195 in the garrison right there. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to be fighting these looters right here just literally for the fact that I would like to level up some of my forces. And then we're probably going to go over to a village... Uh, if we can't find Masui in a short space of time, we'll go over to a village that has iron, and then we'll raid it, and we'll try and gain the iron for free. And uh, more accurately, I'm going to be fighting in the Akisa village, because Akisa is uh, a place where they've always put iron at a, at a significant, um, significant price. <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure why, but they do. And, uh, yeah, so it would be quite nice for us to, uh, you know, maybe be able to do a little bit something there. But anyway, we're going to try and see if I can uh, maybe get some little bit of crossbow skill. And then I would also like to 
head in there with my one-handed as well. But yeah, as you can see, crossbow not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. And uh, we can continue. Oh, really? I thought I actually would have would have hit that right there. But okay, apparently not. But yeah, there we go. Easy victory. Easy victory. And uh, our people are going to get some decent, uh, decent experience as well. And we're actually going to start gaining influence now as well, which is really, really important for us later down the line. I'm actually wondering if the Southern Empire is going to even be able to take anything at this point. I don't know whether they are capable of it because they might just have very small parties and in which case they probably won't be able to but who knows cross your fingers cross your fingers maybe we'll be awarded something aha argaron has been besieged by masui okay so we can quite clearly tell that that means that i will be unable to attack her and indeed even take her prisoner at this point there will be no way that i'll be able to take her prisoner because she is leading an army so what we need to do is we need to basically just wait until she is no longer leading that army and then in which case maybe she'll be weakened you know that's the thing we've got to think about maybe she'll be weakened maybe we'll then be able to take her prisoner when she is in a weakened state and that is the thing that we must hope for at this point Okay, I'm going to put my infantry in a shield wall here. It's going to be kind of difficult to fight against the Kuzate, um with units that generally don't have shields. And it's kind of weird. Well, actually, some of these guys do. The Imperial trained infantry infantry do, and the, the regular infantry do. But the uh, higher tier units, the uh, elite Manavlions, for example, they generally do not. Ah, and legionaries apparently do as well, which is actually quite nice. But anyway, I'm just going to get out my crossbow here. Ah, he raised his shield just at the very last moment. Of course he did. Okay, let's see if I can do some damage. Oh, nice. Okay, let's uh, get in there. Get in there, do some damage. Nice. Okay, oh, they're running already. They're running already. Okay, come on, guys. Let's charge in. Let's charge in. Get my shield up. Make sure that we don't get shot in the face. Ow. 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 Okay, that was, that was kind of harsh. But yeah, we're just going to try and, uh, you know, absorb quite a bit of the damage. That's that's our job, you know? That's our job. We've got to absorb damage, try and make sure that our units are not taking massive amounts. Oh, did you see that guy? He fell over like a, like a sack of potatoes. Really? Wow. That was pretty crazy. Anyway, there's a nice victory for us, and we will be able to now continue raiding the village. I won't be taking the prisoners for obvious reasons. Technically, what I could do is I could take those prisoners and I could take them over to an allied town and I could put them into the garrison or put them into the dungeon and then I would gain influence from them. But personally, I'm pretty happy with how, um, how things are going right here because what I would like to do is stay relatively quick um, because as you can see, I actually don't have a huge amount of of horses in my inventory i do need to maybe raid a village that has horses as its main trade good but as you can see we're gaining so much iron right now because akisa i know to be very rich in iron and this is going to be very good and look at this these guys left wait a minute i'm gonna have a look i'm gonna have a look at these guys okay so ah they joined the northern empire oh okay yeah so as you can see these guys used to be Southern Empire vassals, and now they are Northern Empire vassals. That's that's not very nice of them, is it? No, that's not very nice, but oh well, never mind. What can you do? What can you do? Anyway, after this, what we're going to do is I will make a uh, brief stopover at, a, uh, at another village that might have some horses available for us. And oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to end the raid right here. And I am a bit disorganized at the moment, so I hope that I will be able to escape. And yes, I am. Okay, phew. That was uh, a little bit touch and go there for a second, because I thought to myself, wait a minute, this guy's got some insane speed. And uh, I actually thought that he would catch us for a second there, but... Um, no doubt, as you can tell, because of our speed at the moment, we are um, pretty slow. You know, we're pretty slow, but um, I, I think in general, he doesn't really want to go into the forested areas. I think that would probably make quite a bit of sense. I'm actually going to go to another place where I can get iron. Uh, let me actually just take a look. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. 
I'm absolutely fine. My uh, inventory capacity is pretty good. Ah, there's Torvald, uh, and he's actually part of the uh, company of the Golden Boar. I would probably be able to defeat him in battle. However, Kanujan, as you can quite clearly see right here, is right next to him. Now, here's the thing. Kanujan has 55 Kuzate Nomads. Personally, I feel like I'd probably be able to defeat him in battle if only I had slightly more powerful units. And I'm, I'm talking very slightly here. If I had all tier 3 units, I would probably be able to... Ooh, hello. Monchug is also around here. Yeah, I'm going to have to be a bit careful of these things. Uh, I would like to fight this guy. He's traveling to Onika. At the, uh, oh, oh no, no, not Onika. He's actually traveling to Onira at the moment. So I might be able to... Hmm. Oh, Odrisa Castle is actually being... A ah, okay, this is perfect. This has actually worked out much, much better than I anticipated. So you can see here, Regea is actually deciding to attack Odrisa Castle, which is very close by to where I am. So I'm going to just wait around in the trees here. And then I'm going to run out. And I will try to get him into a battle. And hopefully take him prisoner. If at all possible. Come on, get him! Get him. If, if another vassal comes out of nowhere, then we're going to be in trouble. But no, thankfully, we are okay. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see what we can do. Bear in mind that this is generally how we are going to create more powerful units. By taking on the weaker vassals, the weaker mercenary groups. This is pretty much the only way we can do that. Move. If we decided to attack uh, Kanujan, for example. Kanujan is just... I mean, he has 100 units, basically. And I think he's going to be very difficult for us to deal with in that way. I don't think we're going to be able to take him on um, too easily. Even though he only has 55 recruits. I mean, he's got 55 recruits. That's kind of easy for us to deal with. But unfortunately, in a combat situation, numbers will usually prevail. That's the main reason why I didn't want to fight against the other guy as well. Because the other guy also had about 30 recruits or so. But because of the numbers advantage, even recruits are able to just be thrown at the opponent. And you can pretty easily assume that that, that guy is probably going to win. You know, even just from the numbers advantage. So let me see if I can move a little bit closer here. And I would like to get maybe a shot off or two from my crossbow. Anyone? Hit him in the leg. That wasn't particularly good. Okay, they're moving down there now. Okay, this is actually perfect because what we can do is we can move forward. I'm actually going to uh, keep my uh, keep my cavalry back for the most part because I've noticed that because we have such high tier cavalry that what is going to happen is if, you know, if we end up losing a huge amount of units, then the best thing that we can do is send in our cavalry to clean up, pretty much, because those guys are so incredibly powerful. Okay, so here we go. Let's get in there. Okay, they're, they're, all, they're all running. Okay, I guess I should probably uh, tell my people to charge it. Okay, come on, get him. Ah, I don't have a good amount of athletic skill. Get out your crossbow, Barney, and shoot him in the face. There we go. Nice headshot right there. And maybe we can get another kill. Oh, I'm actually being attacked from somewhere. Ah, archers. No, I didn't mean to hit that guy in the leg, actually. I meant to hit him in the... Uh, well, I meant to hit the guy below him in the head, but <laughs> okay... Sure, sure, sure. If I'm able to hit anyone, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Because the crossbow is such a slow weapon that doing any damage is better than doing none, obviously. So even if I do 20 damage or something by hitting them in the foot, then I think that's that's good enough. You know, that's good enough. Anyway, there you go. Nice victory for us. And I will be able to take this guy in prisoner as well. And uh, I don't know how much gold we plundered. Was that 386 or 3,000? And, yeah, 386 it was. And I will be taking these guys prisoner because we are actually quite close by, I think, to 
one of our... Okay, no, never mind. We're actually very deep in in in, uh, <laughs> in enemy territory. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be somewhat problematic then. I guess I will just run back to Lycaron at this point. And uh, we have a huge amount of level ups as well, which is really, really nice. Now, the main reason why I level these guys up, I know that people have said that if you don't level people up, then you have more experience gain for those groups. Well, the main reason why I do it is literally just because I want to get people ready for the next battle, if there is one. And you know me, I might very well forget that I have some people to level up, and in which case, then we'll be fighting with less than what we could ha have, you know, in terms of power. Oh, yeah, this is exactly the reason, by the way, why I am a little bit dubious about joining AI-controlled armies, because if you take a look up here, Rajaya and the various many people that were raiding and indeed sieging that, uh, that particular castle with her have been taken prisoner. And I think that that probably would have happened whether I was there or not. That's pretty much how it would happen. Oh, Adrisa Castle is actually under siege by Sarandon now. I actually wonder whether Monchuk is still in the area or not. But uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens. Anyway, we are now here at Lycaron, and I will be able to sell all of my iron ore for a massive, massive profit. I'll sell the sheep as well, just because I can. And we should probably lock all of this stuff, even though most of it is probably going to get consumed before I buy any more of it. But uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's going to go quite nicely. Still no no troops to... Uh, to get from here but what i would like to do is go into the keep we're going to uh go to the dungeon donate prisoners and we're going to donate all of these with the exception of turvold i personally don't want to do that i would like to keep him around for the cash and we're also going to be keeping some of the imperials as well because these guys right here can level up into some pretty good units so i'm just going to be giving the other fellows away i believe i can persuade tier four units i'm going to keep the tier four unit as well and i'll keep the uh, tier 3, uh, tier 3 too, and otherwise we'll just let those guys go. Did I not gain any influence from that whatsoever? Apparently I gained no influence whatsoever. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Did, did they change that? Maybe they changed it. Oh well. Whatever the case, it doesn't really matter because they probably would have given me about, um, 300 gold or something like that. Yeah, not a, not a terribly big loss for us right there. Anyway, I am going to be heading on up to Argaron. And we will see if I can find Masui. All right, so I have actually found Masui, finally. And uh, as you can see, she actually has an army of 107. Now, I'm not entirely sure what she has. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That is just... Uh, that's never going to happen. Not with my current army. If I were to fight her right now... Oh, no. Okay, she's actually, uh, she actually means quite a bit of business right here, so uh, I'm going to get out of here like no one's business, because this is not my business whatsoever. I definitely do not want to be involved in this area right here. I've come pretty deep into enemy territory, and this is kind of hard. Uh, kind of hard to get out of here. You may notice that I actually have much less money, and there's a very good reason for that. I actually did get engaged upon by a very large party. Ah, actually not that large, about 90 or so units, and I bartered my way out. Because I, there's no way that I would have been able to do that. Lycaron is actually under siege. Okay, Lycaron is actually under siege. I know that someone actually did mention in the comments that I should try and help the Southern Empire in taking things. And yeah, 100%, that's, that's definitely a, a good way to go. However, the problem with that is that I am not that powerful at all. I mean, you can quite clearly see that, you know. I had a very difficult time even defeating uh, one of those guys. The Southern Empire does seem to be get, you know, getting taken prisoner almost all the time. So it might very well be that we see the, the end of them uh, relatively soon, which is actually kind of disappointing, to be honest. But, uh, oh well. I mean, you can't really do much about it, right? Can't really do much about it. So I'm actually just going to be fighting these looters right here just to level up our forces a little bit more. As, as I've said multiple times... So Mountain Blade is very much a marathon type game rather than a sprint. So anyone that wants instant gratification or anything like that, you know, it's probably not the best place to look. Unless you install a bunch of mods that make it much, much easier for you to 
get that instant gratification that you're looking for. Anyway, the point is, is that in native, it's a very slow burn and you're gonna need to be very patient in many of these situations. Okay, let's see if I can maybe get a couple of kills here. Ah, oh, terrible, terrible. Once again. There we go, nice little, little hit there on the leg. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I, I just don't really wanna lose anyone. If I can just prevent ourselves from losing any, any units here, then we will be, oh, are you serious? Couldn't even kill that one, Barney? Come on now. Yes, there we go, he actually leveled up, fantastic. About time, huh? About time for him to level up. Bear in mind that as I'm wearing such heavy armor, it's really, really difficult for him to move around fast. And uh, obviously, considering I still have such a insanely low athletic skill, it is going to take me a bit longer to move around and everything. But otherwise, there we go. A little bit of influence right there. Good experience gain. And that's all I really want. Anyway, let's move on and see what's actually happening at Lycron. I might be able to get into some large battle over here that might be a way for us to take a whole bunch of people prisoner. But Tulag's army, yeah. As you can no doubt see, Tulag's army is massive. Really, really massive. And I don't know whether I'm going to be able to really do much here. But we'll try, you know. We'll try, we'll try our very best. I actually should uh, recruit some more of these people here. Let's get some more of these Imperial recruits because I've seen that most of the... Most of the places that are around us right now are actually stripped bare, pretty much. Like all the villages and things, you're not ever going to find any recruits there because most of our vassals are, um, you know, recruiting people from there. Yeah, this is, yeah, we're, we're pretty much done here, I'm pretty sure. Lycoron is going to get taken very, very soon. And what I could do is I could just stick around here and maybe try and prey upon some of the enemies that end up leaving after the siege. We might be able to do that. A little bit opportunistic, but worth it. If we can make it work. Let's see what happens. Whoa, yeah. Wow, they're actually losing a huge amount. This is really good right here. This is really, really good. I just need them to, to die a little bit more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, the the uh, age-old quandary of literally just needing them to die a little bit more. I'm sure most people in warlike situations would be saying relatively similar stuff. But anyway, let's uh, recruit this guy. And I'm not going to be recruiting any looters. I just literally took those to sell or to donate. Look at this. Okay. Um, mm, this army is going to still be quite powerful, as you can see. Um, they have taken it, as you can no doubt tell. Oh, I could have actually gone in there, couldn't I? Mm, that wouldn't have made much that wouldn't have made much sense because if I went in there it would literally just result in me being attacked again and I don't think I would have been able to hold out because all the all the walls are, are basically gone right so they have 193 defenders in the garrison here and they're gonna start regenerating aren't they yeah they're gonna start regenerating I was actually hoping that some of them would break off after this and we could potentially attack some of their vassals. So I'm just going to shadow them for a little bit and we'll see whether anything like that happens. Now, with the amount of vassals that they have in this army, I am pretty sure that each of their armies is pretty small because you can see here, it's 550 units total in this army. And there are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are actually ten enemy lords. So that means that they have pretty much an average of what? Fifty? Fifty or so? Fifty-five? Some, somewhere around there. And that is actually doable. That is actually doable for us. So I'm pretty sure that we might be able to prey upon someone when their cohesion or when their food runs out. As you can see, it seems like... Mm, is their food running out? No. They're they're actually regenerating at the moment. But I guess that will be it for this episode. And we'll try, if we can, to maybe um, be a little bit opportunistic in an upcoming episode. And we'll see what happens. I'm actually kind of wondering where... Uh, oh, yeah. Where did, my, um, where did my prisoner go? I assume he escaped, right? 
I assume he escaped because that's what happens in, in native. Oh well, never mind. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.